Oh my god, this structure of neuron diagram is making me so nervous. I'm not able to draw this one. Somebody please help. Hello friends. In this video, we are going to learn some simple steps of drawing the human neuron correctly and labeling it neatly. So what are you waiting for? Get hold of your pencil and paper and let's together draw the diagram of the human neuron. All right. So we are going to draw the neuron. So always whenever you are drawing the, a diagram, give a margin like this on all four sides. Before you start drawing, just take a ruler and draw a very fine light line on the page. Now I want you to measure this line. As you can see, I have taken a 22 centimeters line and if this is a 22 centimeters line then my cell body should not be more than should not be absolutely not be more than 4 centimeters the rest I will keep for the axon okay so I will first start by drawing the cell that is the cyton so for cyton you have to remember that this is a star shaped structure we will draw a star shaped structure you can take whatever um, shape of this star shape that you want to take. All that you have to remember in uh, remember while drawing this is that this has to come and meet somewhere here. Now for the structure of the neuron, I have taken the page in landscape mode because there is a part that needs to be drawn which is elongated. You can obviously take it in a portrait mode. Now what I have to do is I will have to draw the axon. And the axon will go till the end. We have to make sure that when we are drawing this line, this line goes parallel to the central line you have drawn and the distance between these two lines remains the same all throughout and then it branches at the end. At the end, we will draw knobs. If you remember, there are synaptic knobs at the end of the axon. So we'll draw knob-like structures, okay? And now we'll draw the other coverings of the axon. So on the axon, the first covering that is present is the myelin sheet. Now the axon originates from this part, which is known as the axon hillock. We will just give a few lines like this to show this ax axon hillock. Now the axon has the myelin sheath above. So when we draw the myelin sheath, we have to understand that the myelin sheath is not continuous. So if you want, you can first make these gaps like this, you know exactly where you are going to draw your myelin sheath. Just one thing that you have to do is here you have to keep a gap, a long gap like this. What does this gap indicate and why have we given this gap? Why have we drawn this gap? We have drawn this gap because the length of the axon is actually going to be much longer than what we have drawn uh, if the size of the cell body is this. So we'll give this gap and in the index we'll write gap indicates that the length of the axon is longer, right? So we'll make this index here so that it's it's understandable. Now we'll draw the myelin sheath. As you can see, as I said, the myelin sheath is not a continuous layer. So you will maintain these gaps. So I'll just join one gap to the other. See, I'm just joining one line, one small line to the other. And that is where the myelin sheath ends. Okay. Once the myelin sheath is done, the next structure that we are going to draw is the layer which is present above myelin sheath and that is neurilemma, right? But before that, I'll, I'll erase these reference lines and I'll draw the neurilemma. Now for the neurilemma, it is continuous in these gaps as well. So we'll keep the neurilemma parallel to the myelin sheath, but in these gaps, they are present. As you can see, I'm trying to keep the neurilemma as parallel to the myelin sheath as possible. Do not make one part very wide in diameter, another part very narrow in diameter. So 
you should try to maintain this diameter that this distance between the myelin sheath and the neurilemma all over. Okay, so that's the neurilemma. Now the neurilemma if you remember is made up of cells which are called Schwann cells. So you can see some of the nuclei of these Schwann cells on the myelin sheet. So we will draw a few dots here wherever you want on the myelin sheet you can draw it which will show the nucleus of the Schwann cells. Now coming to the cell body I will remove this reference line and now I will draw the detailed structure inside the new, uh, cell body or the cytoplasm. So right at the center we will draw the nucleus. Now you have a tendency of drawing a nucleus and shading it like this, we will not do that. We will draw the detailing inside the nucleus as well. So we will draw the nucleolus, we will draw the nu nuclear reticulum and we will give some dots to show the nucleoplasm. Okay? So, we will draw the say, uh, nucleus in details, we will not just draw a circle and uh, shade it. Now, we will draw some mitochondria. Now, while drawing mitochondria, the way we draw mitochondria is you will draw an elongated structure like this and then you draw a spiral inside. That is how you draw mitochondria. Remember, if the size of the nucleus is this, the size of the mitochondria will be much smaller, right? So, I will draw a few mitochondria wherever I want inside the cell. Okay. I will draw Golgi bodies, the Golgi bodies are to be drawn like this and few dots. So the cisterni and the vesicles again much smaller than what I have drawn here. Now I will draw some dots here very light just to show the cytoplasm. Now when you are drawing these dots be patient, do not be in a rush because when you are in a rush you draw dots like this which basically look like lines rather than dots. So use a very light hand to draw. See we are not using colors but we have to differentiate between the different structures uh, with the different uh, strokes and with the different uh, shades of pencil. So we will just draw the cytoplasm like this and now inside the cytoplasm there are you rem if you remember nissel granules which are slightly larger. So now see I am using slightly deeper dots. Again be very very patient while drawing these dots. Do not rush, do not draw dots which look like looks like this. These do not look good and makes your diagram untidy. So I draw the dots and these are the nissel granules all right so that completes the cell body or the cyton now we'll move on to the dendron or the dendrite so for that i will draw like a halo right like a like a circle till which my dendrons will proceed otherwise the entire structure looks very um, disorganized so i am drawing a slight halo and then i start drawing the dendrite so i will first draw one line radiating till this halo that we have drawn from each point of the star right and then I will just have to branch it. You can branch according to your own will, it is alright but you just remember not to go beyond that halo line that you have drawn otherwise it will look untidy and it is a profusely branched so you have your liberty of branching it as you want right. So with that we come to the end of the diagram. Now coming to the labelings. So I will get rid of this reference line first. Now we will start with the labelling. So for the labelling what we will do is we will label as much as we can above and below right. But before that we will use a line, we will use an arrow. What does this arrow indicate? This arrow indicates the direction of flow of impulse. So again we will make the index and we will write arrow indicates the direction of flow of impulse. Okay, now coming to the labelings. 
So first we will start labeling from here. We will label the dendron, then the cyton or the cell body. This part I am labeling below, this is called the axon hillock. This is the axon. This is the myelin sheath. Neurilemma. This is the nucleus of the Schwann cell. This is the synaptic knob. Okay, so let's label dendron, cyton. This can be cyton or it can be labeled as soma or it can be labeled as pericarion or it can just be labeled as simple cell body. There can be it, it, these are this has five four name, different names so whatever the question asks for you can use that word. This is myelin sheath. This is neurilemma. Here we have the axon hillock. Then we have the axon. Then we have the nucleus of Schwann cells and we have the synaptic knob. We will also give a heading to or a footer to this diagram where you will show what you have drawn. So this one is neuron. And this is how you draw a neat label diagram of the neuron. I hope after watching this video the diagram of the human neuron is very easy for you. Do hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos. Do check out the full courses on our website manochaacademy.com and our Android app. We have courses for physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics and computer coding. Links are given below. Stay connected with Manocha Academy and keep learning.